Hi, this is Susan Carlson, and welcome to my studio. Here's a sample of one of my eight fabric collage portraiture presentation videos, newly released in the Facial Features eWorkshop. I've selected a 10-minute segment from the Eyes slideshow to give you a taste of what you can learn through the eight hours of the Facial Features eWorkshop. In all my 30 years of teaching fabric collage, there's always been the time limitation of a class length. There's only so much information of what I've learned that I can pass on to you in the course of a day, two days, or even a week of class. So I put together a series of video presentations that delve deeper into the, the nuances of fabric collage to answer the questions that there never before seemed enough time to answer. Each video is approximately an hour in length and gives me the ability to teach and you the ability to learn in the best way possible. I get the time to fully address various topics of portraiture, and you get a front row seat, lots of examples, slideshows, and live demos, and the ability to view each recording again and again. They're yours to keep. Online access is set up the same way as my Fabric Collage Online Masterclass. In fact, the two work in tandem so well that there's a special price to purchase the Masterclass and the Facial Features eWorkshop together, though each are available separately. The masterclass is all about learning the technique of fabric collage from start to finish. The Facial Features eWorkshop is designed to take you deeper into the specific skills and understanding of the art of portraiture, though in the process, it does touch on the basics of fabric collage. The eight presentations deal with loosening up into the concept of fabric collage portraiture, starting with the nose, differences between the structure of adult versus child faces, eyes, glasses, the mouth, teeth, the neck and hair. Facial features templates are included as PDF printouts to work along with. Sound interesting? Well, for more information or to take that deep dive into fabric collage portraiture, check out the link in the description below. Thank you and enjoy the video. Now here's the second improv phase, and this now will be leading into the demo that I'm going to do tonight for you. So what I did is I worked on one side of the face to get it kind of planned and figured out using my palette of fabrics that I had selected the week before. Ginny helped me with this one too. Here's where it was at the end of last week. So I had the, um, the nose, the the bridge of the nose. So when I'm talking about nose, you know, you're starting with a nose, but the nose kind of blends up into the brow. It, um, you definitely have the flare of the nostril and it then also the, the bridge of the nose kind of flows down in toward the cheeks. And now it leaves that whole eye socket area to start working on. There it is with glued down. So before I go into the eyes, I'm going to glue down that nose so that I don't have all these pins sticking up to have to work with. So when you get an area done and you're happy enough with it, go ahead and glue it down. It's just a little bit of smear of glue. So you can always rip it up or cover it over if you have to later. Um, to start with the eye, now this is different from that eye demo. You know, so that eye for an eye demo the one that I did with my um, niece, Maya, this eye is constructed a little bit differently. It's not as realistic, which means it's a little simpler. It's maybe a little more fun to get started with. So this is a good way of kind of working into creating an eye as opposed to really, you know, trying to get every little detail of, for, for realism. So I found a couple curves in my fabrics that worked well for the, the top of the eye and for the bottom of the eye. And these would become the lids. So there's the eyelashes. And I found fabrics that had a little bit of pattern and movement to them that I could use to cut against and also kind of gives me some of those details in just the, the, that first cut, the first selection of fabrics. Then I added some dark as the upper lid. So this side of the face, see that little flourish of um, color on the side of the nose, the bridge of the nose right there? That um, was a little darker than the other side of the nose. So I decided that this side, the right side of the face was gonna be the darker side of the face, just to give it a little more drama. So I could go really dark. I'm pretending that this face is in a lot of shadow. 
And so that was going to be a very shadowed area. And I found some of the fabric, the palette that I had chosen had a you know, pretty blue in it, that blue works really nice as a shadow, yellow works really nice as a highlight. And so that tucked under the eyelid and under the eyebrow. So um, I didn't have to cut it exact. I just had to cut kind of a, a elongated chunk and tuck it under. And I'll be showing you some of this on the other side of the face. On the right side hand photo, I've added a little bit of a highlight to that brow because I was looking at some photographs of faces and said, oh, you know what? It kind of gets a little lighter right there. So let's find something lighter to add a little more interest to it. And then from there, I went down into the cheek because really those, what, four pieces of fabric that I put around the eye worked really well to just define the eye. There's also um, the white of the eye has been added in here too. Let's not forget that. And I was able to, um, uh, it kind of got darker in the corners with the fabric that I selected, but then I also added a little more of the, um, the dark in the, the corner of the eye as well from another piece of fabric. And then I just kind of kept going. I was kind of on a roll. So I kept going down into the cheek and added the shadow underneath the nose. So you can see how all that's going to start pulling together as well. And because I saw this in another fabric, I decided to go ahead and go to the edge of the face while I was at it. So what you see here, that squared off piece of fabric, that's one of those hand sized shapes of fabric that I cut at the very beginning to create my palette that I was working from. Obviously it was cut from the corner of a fabric and I cut off the corner, but instead of just cutting it straight, I cut it kind of wiggly with the pattern. And that will now help where it kind of, you know, where that piece of fabric ends um, there, you know, um, right off the mouth there. That'll help me down the road to kind of blend in with something else. But it started picking up some of the colors that I was working with. So that highlight that I had on the upper uh, lid, those pink in there, it just kind of curves right down, picks up with a pink from that, um, the fabric there on the side of the face. And pink being a lighter, warmer color um, comes forward. So the, that's part of the cheek on the dark side of the face, but I want it to still kind of come forward. And on that same piece of fabric, it's next to that aqua color, which is a cool color. Cool colors recede. And so now when I trim it down, um, it kind of looks like that that blue, that fabric is now curving for me. So in that one piece of fabric, I got the curve of the face as it goes you know, away from the viewer. So keep things like that in mind as you're working on your face. Um, you can use the fabric to your benefit so that you have it do some of the work for you as you go. You're still gonna come back and add to it, but you know, getting a really nice base or getting as far along on the base as you can is helpful to you down the road, obviously.